Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a, a clinical scientist and the deputy head of the Royal Brompton Clinical Genetics and Genomic Laboratory. We provide genetic testing using DNA sequencing to help diagnose a range of cardiac and respiratory disorders. So I'm going to spend a bit of today telling you how sequencing works and how we test your DNA in our lab. Your DNA is the instruction book to help your body function and grow and the amount of DNA in a single cell is what we call the genome. So if you imagine a book and your genome is a book containing about 25,000 pages, if you imagine each page is a gene, um, what we do in our lab is read the instructions on that page to help decide if a variant in that genetic data is causing a disease. So the first stage in the process is to extract DNA from a patient. We usually use a blood sample like this, um, but we can essentially extract DNA from any tissue in your body. We quite often use saliva, or you can use skin, and sometimes we get actual pieces of tissue from the heart. This machine here does the DNA extraction for us because it's quite a laborious, uh, time-intensive process. The amount of DNA in here represents probably around five million cells worth of DNA from a patient and then we use this DNA sample to sequence and do the rest of our analysis. So the next process in the sequence is to actually isolate the DNA we want to sequence. If you imagine our 25,000 page book, we sequence about 400 genes associated with cardiac and respiratory disease in the lab. So we want to essentially remove those 400 pages from our 25,000 page book. And this is what this machine does for us. This robot, tests about 60 samples per run and we run around one to two runs per week. All of this can be done by hand but one person doing the same amount that this robot does in eight hours would probably take about three to four days. So the next stage in the process is to actually sequence the genes or in my analogy read the sequence of the 400 pages of the book we tore out in the first stage. And we do this using our next generation sequencing machine. This is our current machine. And while it's still going strong, it's near the end of its life, which is why the charity is fundraising for a brand new machine. This machine can currently sequence around 60 samples per run. And that takes about two days to do. The new machine will probably double that number. So we'll be able to get samples out a lot more quickly uh, and more efficiently and cost effectively. Um, and remember, some of the diseases that we test have things like a high risk of sudden cardiac death. So it's really important to get these results out to patients as quickly as possible so um, they can get the treatments they need. This machine is, again, a quite a complicated instrument um, and produces huge amounts of data. So per patient, it produces about 60 gigabytes of um, computer data. Each individual we test, we find hundreds of sequence variants in them. Some of those variants are, if you imagine, a little typo that doesn't really alter the meaning of the words um, and the protein that is made still works okay. And some of those variants might be major spelling mistakes, which um, when your body tries to make a protein from instructions that are wrong, that protein won't work in the way it should do. And that's the thing that causes your disease. My main job as a clinical scientist is to look at that data and decide if a variant we find is um, pathogenic or disease causing or not. So this image shows the uh, small part of the sequencing from a patient and you can see a sequence variant in this position here. So um, this is the final step of the actual entire sequencing test. Anyone at risk of inheriting this variant from the affected family member can um, come and have a genetic test just for this single variant um, to decide on their risk of getting the same disease. We currently test around 5,000 samples per year. Um, as of about three years ago, we only tested about one to 2,000 samples a year, and we predict the number of samples we test is going to double again in the next few years. Um, so the importance of all this genetic testing um, is increasing and again that's why it's critical that we get a new sequencing machine to allow us to keep up with that sheer number of patient samples that are coming in the lab every day. To find out more about the next generation genetics appeal go to rbhcharity.org forward slash next hyphen generation.